this is the first VR event that I've been to. Uh, it was hugely informative though. It was, uh, it was really, really good. Like not so much like on the sales, because like there wasn't a lot of sales pitch, but just on the general information that he delivered. So the right level as well. A lot of the other VR conferences I think are, are mainly driven by software backends, uh, uh, or, or at least software vendors in some cases. The, the Unite or the Unreals or those kind of companies that push VR. I think the great thing about this again is it's, it's pretty agnostic in terms of what you use. It's the end product that is important. And I think this is a, it's a good move forward. Well, I think, I think events like this are always great because I've literally just come out from lunch and I've been chatting to one of the leading landscape architectural firms, LDA Design, and I didn't expect to see them here and I've been chatting to their IT director and um, we've immediately got massive common ground about how the things that, that you've really um, brought to the table today, how they are actually going to change things and we've, we, we, we're going to be talking further about how to actually bring these technologies into the workplace. Well I'm hoping that I can go back to our stakeholders and really deliver kind of like what sort of solutions they should be looking at and what we can do in the future. Yeah it's hugely useful just to see what other people are doing in the industry, yeah how they're integrating the technology and really how they're making, how, how clients are seeing that technology as well has been really useful. There's a lot of uniqueness and the application is unique, but there's a lot of overlap and I think it's about time people start uh, discussing with each other where they can, can get this moving forward. I think it's the isolation in the silos that's keeping us behind. Practical demonstrations of the kit is hugely useful because I, I mean, we wouldn't get um, the ability to really try the holo lenses or uh, any of the other headsets because well, they're too expensive and we're not sure if that's the way we want to go. So these sorts of events are really, really useful for that. I think if you don't try things out um, and you don't have a go at these, these um, leading edge things, then you, you never get the kind of insight or the excitement about what they can do. And I think we all know change is difficult. So if you don't start change with some excitement and some insight, it will never happen. So I think you have to try these things out and um, to be able to bring them about in a place like this at PwC, obviously they're a brand that's known for kind of consulting innovation and other things, and Systems Active and obviously what you've done, Nathan. I think that is, I mean, is undoubtedly people have to be excited about change. Change is painful and it's scary, so we've got to be excited about it. So trying these things out is uh, really powerful.